Grant, how much catching up have you got to do between now and Birmingham to be fit and fully fit and ready for that game? I don't know, it's, it's difficult. Um, I mean, you can do as much training, as much running as you want, but when you get thrown in, it's you know it's different and you can never really ready yourself for that. You can train and try and put yourself in the best position, but um, you know that's all I can do. I can only train as hard as I can and try and get as many minutes in as I can before the season starts. Um, but really, when when you're when you're thrown in, that's when you know that's when it really counts, and that's when you need to make sure you're you're ready yourself physically and mentally. I know it's mostly us guys and the fans who talk about the armband, but as Rob asked, has has that come up in conversation in pre-season about who who will be captain this year, who no, will be wearing not, it? It's, it's not been mentioned. Um, I mean, there is a kind of leadership group the manager calls it within the within the dressing room with the more senior players, if you like. Um, you know, the manager will come to you if there's anything he wants to speak to the players about or any messages he wants passed on. But it's it's not been mentioned, and I think the lads will tell you the same. Who's ever wearing it, um, it won't really make a difference in terms of the responsibilities they have because the lads kind of take that upon themselves anyway. Um, you know, and try and make sure we do everything for the group, and the more experienced lads in the group are there to lead the group. So you're having a long chat with. Uh Ben Godfrey during the, the warm-up as well. I mean, we were expecting him probably to come in and, and stake a claim as a as a defensive midfielder in, in this coming season. But he, he clearly has been given a go at centre back, as you said. Can you can you see that being a position he could really take to? I think Ben's got the attributes to play a number of positions. Um, and that I mean, can be an issue sometimes, can't it? <laughs> well, it can be, but sometimes it can be in his side because then he, he might get thrown in in a position where you know he, he might not have done if he wasn't so versatile. If you know what I mean. Um, but no, like I said before, I, I like Benny. You know his attitude's absolutely first class, um, and you know exactly what you're getting from him. And it helps him as well when he drops into centre half because his footballing ability. And he um, he's got too much football to play centre half. You know he, he can pass the ball well. We've seen a couple of his dags that he hit tonight, um, so that'll be on his side. And also he's got the, the physical attributes as well. Um, so no, like like you said before, credit to him, and you know he's shown he's willing to learn and. Um, you know, he can play a number of different positions. I mean, Ben's a great lad. Um, you know, young lads now don't really seem to have the attitude that Ben's got. You know, he's you know he's a strong lad, and you know exactly what you're getting from, which is you know which is great for a lad of that age. Um, so no, it was it was good to play next to him. You know, it's it's nice with younger lads, and you you feel like you can talk to them, and they li- they listen, and they want to you know they want to make themselves better, and they want to improve. Um, so no credit to Ben, you know, I thought he'd done well again tonight and he's played that position, which maybe isn't familiar to him, um, a couple of times in pre-season now, or a few times in pre-season and, you know, I thought he's looked good, so, you know, credit to him. And just one more, are there differences in how you're trying to take on this season coming compared to what you were doing last as a team in terms of tactically, formations, are there, are there tweaks you can see in, in how you're trying to implement no, things? No, I, I mean, I think the manager's philosophy and the way the manager wants to play is pretty obvious to everybody, but sometimes in football sometimes the players you've got to dictate that and like you said before with a couple of new signings and well, a few new faces coming in that might change or tweak a little bit how we want to play but I think the way the manager wants to play is pretty you know, clear to see OK I did lie one more Tim Tim, in I know that Tim had said he'd, he'd spoken to you about the move what's it like being reunited with him and again a, a goalkeeper of that experience that must be a huge boost to the group No definitely I mean any player with the experience that he's got you know is massive um, you know, especially when we've got quite a young squad, it's you know, it's, it's another man in the dressing room to you know to drag the young lads through um, and to drag everybody through. Um, obviously, I knew Tim from Newcastle, and we're probably in the same boat because we're only playing very much. So at least we've something to relate to each other with. Um, but no, he's a great guy, and um, you know, first and foremost, he's a great guy, and he'll be great for the dressing room. Um, you know, he's an experience, and what he's done in football speaks for itself. So, great addition. Cheers, Grant. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Thanks.